Okay, let's try something different. <laughs> We're jumping right into this video. Let's go. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. Execution. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Oh, this is me now? <laughs> This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. That's cool. That was going to be this drone. Why am I getting signal from two different spots? Is this the asylum? There go, you go. You'll be the right head. You're right. Okay. It's obviously here. <clears throat> the Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh, Batman. Please don't be a chapter, that would be so depressing if that was a chapter. No achievement? Wasn't a chapter yet. Yeah.
Knock, knock, knock. Come on, come on. I know there's going to be more around here. The man probably had millions in his sock drawer. <laughs> if Phil Cody finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. The Boss fuck is that in the background? You lot, come check out this office. I don't want to fight that big blue dude. He looks mean. Where is he? I don't know. Please, this is all names. You can help me, or let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, Is that have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself! Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out! Believe me, I know. He Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. There we go! That wasn't so hard to admit, was it? Must be a relief to get that stick out of your arse every now and then. As a show of good faith. I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We'll okay. do with Falcone. Now, <clears throat> if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account. Thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes. Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> uh, you. Okay. Yeah, he's not alive. Yeah, yeah, catch. Gonna have oh. to try harder. Let's just jump out the window at this point. Yeah, like that. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Well, that's a decent episode. We got to fight off a big uh, bulky guy and uh, end it like that. So if you like the episode, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. As always, see you catch you in the next episode.